Hey everybody, welcome to yet another episode of yeah. Alright, so I was recommended on Discord to do a review tutorial, kind of one of those combo videos looking at a conlang tool on the internet for Con Workshop. Now, a lot of people know what Con Workshop is, but also a lot of people don't. I am a person who knows what it is, but have not yet used it. I think I created an account and, and like did a basic look at it a couple months ago, but I'm pretty much going to be going into this with fresh eyes. So we're going to be going through it. We're just going to see my experience, my reaction, and just look at several, probably not all, but several of the tools and features of Con Workshop. Let, Let us commence. commence. All right, so here's the website. It is a uh, conworkshop.com, big plot twist. Con Workshop is a conlanging community and tools website started in early 2014, aimed at providing the tools and community to help you strive in your conlanging endeavors. I like that thesis right there. So here's the homepage once you log in. Big surprise, I'm Agma Schwa. I've already created Autojune, right, as a as a language on here whenever I made my account a couple months ago. Looks like there's a live chat going through here. Oh, it's not like a chat, but it's kind of like a, like a list of when people are adding entries to their languages and stuff like that. Words, but like in, in different people's languages or whatever, I think. That's pretty cool. It's like there's a, there's a whole uh, kind of community on here, it looks like. Oh, there's Ben Snow, one of my patrons. Hey, Ben Snow. <laughs> I see you on Con Workshop. Anyway, let's start with the, the language, right? So let's go to the languages list. Okay, so yeah, you can go you can go over to here and you can say add new language. All right, add a new language to your profile. All right, code for your language, name of your language in English, name of your language in your language, and type of language. Okay, all right, we're gonna call it proto and Kahilan in English. All right, we're going to call it Fasvan in the language. Type of language. A priori, a posteriori, art lang, international auxiliary lang. Okay, it gives you gives you a series of uh, choices. Um, we're gonna we're just gonna call it an art lang. Code for the language: letters A to Z only. Looks like a three-letter code that you need. Interesting, interesting choice. Oh, three to five letters. Okay. H V S V N. Maybe that won't be taken. Cool. There we go. Add language. Language added successfully. Cool. Autonym pronunciation, language type, sample to use, I don't know, language status, I'll call it functional. Ooh, language flag, that, ooh, that's cool. Does it have to have a specific set of dimensions? All right, we recommend using a ratio of three to two or two to one. Minimum width is 100 pixels. That's really cool. There is no flag for Phosphon, but that's pretty cool. All right, phonological systems and species. Ooh, what? Wait, <laughs> oh, that's that's a lot more <laughs> dogs, but we're, we're just gonna call human humanoid because you know they're they're humanoid dogs. A anyway, anyway, about Proto Cern Kahilan, pretty basic summary right there, but that that works. All right, save the section. Okay, phonology and orthography. Okay, okay. Let's see here. You're able to edit your phonology and orthography settings. Okay, edit your phonology and orthography here. Okay, so that's cool. It, it it lets you put in the phonology just by going on to a, going to like a full IPA table, and then you just pick and choose all the pieces, in, like vowels and consonants. Like that's pretty cool. That that is pretty cool. And then it lets you alter the orthography for it. Like you can go and edit the phonological data or edit the orthographical data. But you know, I don't really need to do that right now because that would take a long time. But it's really cool that you could do that. Like you hit edit orthographical data. And then it just goes in, and you can even give names to each letter, like in their alphabet. N D. What does that mean? Oh well, that's pretty cool. I don't need to do anything with that for now. Now let's go back to the main hub of Proto Cern Oh, oh, that's a hmm. That's a lot of stuff. Dictionary, phonology, grammar, name base, literature. Ooh, or thought. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So there's a lot of stuff you can do on here. Okay, let's go to the dictionary. Let's see, you can add a word, you can import words, you can export words, you can mass edit, auto match, maintenance, purge. Interesting, okay, so let's 
add a word. Let's say, let's let's take this one. Let's say alvoz. Alvoz is sense and intuition. Alvoz is a noun, and its English definition is. What do you mean, no results for sense and intuition? Oh, I think I think it has a list of words built into its dictionary so that it can do that do that thing on the home page that we saw with the you know showing off people's words for something you know stuff like that okay so if I just have sense okay then sense as a noun sense a taste so, oh, so that's sense 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 interesting can I like add a comma can I add a semicolon give, give it give like a longer definition interesting so what you can only you can only change one you can only have one English word definition for it that's a little uh this is a little cringe. Interesting. Well, that's uh, that's a feature. Now, if I went to the dictionary and I wanted to import stuff, how would I do that? Maybe I'll do that in a separate video, but we, we get that. We get that. That's pretty cool, though. Okay, so we got all that. Let's see what else we have in here. Orthography. There's categories, conscripts, conscript. Let's go to conscript. You can specify a font to use with your language. You'll need to create a TTF to use with your conscript. If your conscript uses characters already encoded into Unicode, you'll not need to use this page as your conscript will already be supported without the need for extra font files. Huh. TTF is uh, something I will also have to do in a separate video sometime because that is that is special. Interesting. Interesting. So that is that how they get these things on here? That's probably how they get those things on there. Interesting. This is too much work for me to do within a single video, <laughs> like a lot of this. But this is really awesome that it exists. Right? Like, what happens when I go to the translations page within literature? Oh, wow. Oh, this is just other- these are other people's translations. This is like just the translation page in general. Oh, that's really cool. It's like a big old forum where people just put their translations of different texts in there. How does one make one? Add translation. Origin myth. Okay, so where do you put the actual content? Do not add glosses. English only, please. Okay, um, <laughs> all right, so I guess I need to go and I need to copy and paste this stuff, but just the English text? There. Now, if this isn't the correct thing to do, I'm gonna find out because this is a new experience to me. <laughs> okay, all right, now text content, do not add glosses. It doesn't say English only. Conlang. Okay, so now, now I put in the actual translation. All right, cool, so I got the text in here. Again, is this the correct way to do this? Looks looks like it is cool so now the PSE origin myth is right there and its translation is available as well oh and then you can do the gloss then you can do the syntax then you can do translation notes oh and you can do a recording that's cool I'm not gonna do that right now but that's really cool anyway let's go to let's look at some grammar real quick define grammar forms let's see what happens when we define some grammar forms all right grammar forms all right protocerncohelans Oh shit. Oh wow, that's a lot of a uh... Wow, okay. That gives you a lot of choices. Uh this is a very big and overwhelming list. Oh god. Oh god, there are a lot of things on this list. Holy crap. Fifth person? What does that even mean? Okay, that like this is cool, but I gotta say this is kind of uh, kind of overwhelming. Like, how do you? Isn't this gonna be like really time consuming to try and make a table out of this? A search would be really nice on here. Okay, there's genitive. Let's say that the the nouns can the nouns can be genitive. Cool. I'm not gonna go through more of that during this video. I don't have time for that. Okay. Well, that was a. Uh, Fascinating. Well, let's look at some tools. So they got lexicon stuff, like they got lexabuild, word generators, word gen 3, FOMO, derivation, conlanger swadesh list. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, cool. Look at that. A hundred abstract nouns, a hundred basic adjectives, a hundred basic nouns. Oh, wow. And, and then you just take these and what? You define them? Like, click on one of these and then have it be like, oh, yeah, you can. That's... That's cool. Uh, let's go to the word generator. I had no idea how big this was. This could occupy like three different videos. This is this is wild. You got a base converter, a number system converter, syntax trees. Seriously? 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I love syntax trees. Okay. Well, let's just move on to the community now. Boards. Um, let's go to some conlang topics. See what people are talking about. Let's go to letters you avoid because you know I have an opinion on that. People and clans. I'm interested to see what a clan is on here. Clans are groups. I need to take a step back here. I've been looking at this for almost an hour now. The video is not going to be that long, but I've been looking at this for over an hour now, just looking at features and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I can say, I can say with confidence, like, Con Workshop is a really big website. Like, I had no idea there was so much stuff on there. <laughs> like, I had, I had no, no clue whatsoever that it was going to be as massive as it is. Like, geez, it's got generators and dictionaries and the dictionaries can be matched with other dictionaries and there's forums and groups and you can add grammar stuff on there though I gotta say that grammar table thing like there's gotta be a better way than that like that that intimidates me that scares me away from actually making those tables because of how time-consuming it looks like it's gonna be just to look through like a list of like a thousand different categories let me know in the comments if you're like a pro a pro con workshop user and you know how to like circumvent that they make make like an easier way to make a table on there because I would totally do it other than that like adding the phonology in there is really easy adding words in there is really easy becoming a part of the community on there is pretty easy you know just try and find like active corners of it so overall like that's it's really cool that it exists I'm very impressed with the existence of con workshop and I'm probably gonna have to go back into it more and do more specifics on there like I'll have to do videos later on so yeah if you want me to do more stuff going into the specifics on con workshop then definitely let me know in the comments because I'm personally interested I'd like to see if you're interested too. That's all I've got to say, except a special thanks to all my patrons. Very, very much appreciate the fact that we're, we're at more than $30 per month now, which is amazing, which means that at this rate in, I don't know, like seven or eight months, we can outpace the expenses that I've put into this channel so far so that might be cool that might be nice I very much appreciate you and that you think I'm worthy of, of your of your small donations and, and it definitely adds up and I appreciate it very much anyway all right so like comment subscribe let me know in the comments if you want me to do more stuff relating to the specifics of con workshop because that's all I can handle right now <laughs> all right until next time nah. Out. Bye-bye.